Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. A gentle reminder guys to smash the like button guys. Smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel guys. Free and easy ways to support the channel. Guys, free and easy way to give the channel a strength. Please give the channel a strength. Smash like button and subscribe. We're out here putting in the work for you guys. So guys, I stumbled across a story, an interesting story surrounding a player, a reggae boy by the name of Blair Turgot. Now, the destination is a little bit surprising, but I am not surprised that the player, it is being reported by credible sources that the player is on the verge of making a move out of Sweden. Let's get into the story. First of all, it's on the sport, the platform Sport Expressing, right? Um, I mean, it's the first I'm hearing about this platform, but when I did the research, you know, seems to be a, a credible outlet coming out of Scandinavia, right? They, you know, when I did the research, they satisfied my standard of credibility, right? That is the Sport Expressing sport expressing platform right the journalists who you know did the story on the sport expressing platform is a journalist by the name of anel avdich i don't know if i got that pronunciation right but this particular individual seems to be a credible journalist as well coming out of scandinavia he is actually followed on twitter by fabrizio romano and you guys know who Fabrizio Romano is, right? Top man when it comes to, you know, all the biggest transfers in world football. So let's get into the article, guys. Um, the success man is about to be sold. Blair Turgot, 27, scored 10 goals this year. Now he is about to be sold. According to reports in Sports Expressing, the striker is close to being signed for Emirates Club in the United Arab Emirates. So that is Emirates FC, I think is the name of that club, and they play in the UAE Pro League, right? So they are saying the striker is close to being signed for the Emirates Club in the United Arab Emirates. Astersons FK had a very tough all Swedish season, the club finished last in the series on 14 points and thus awaits play in the Super Etan, which is the um, the Swedish second division. It is also clear that Ostersen parted has parted ways with coach Per Zhao or Zhao Hansen. Sports Expressing was able was also able to tell in early December that sports director Adil. Kizil had resigned from his position. Now comes the next big blow for the club. Guys, from what I'm understanding, Ostersons is in a bit of a, a financial pickle, so to speak, right? Close to being sold. According to reports to Sport Expressing, Ostersons is close to selling its gold king Blair Turga 27 to Emirates Club in the United Emirates. The parties are currently in talks and there is much to suggest that the clubs will agree on the transfer or will agree on a transfer. So there you go. This journalist on this platform is putting their reputation on the line, their big reputation on the line by saying that, you know, there is much to suggest that this deal will cross the line. That's a big statement right there. Turgot and Emirates Club have agreed personal terms and a one and a half year contract there you go some details right there so you know sports expressing is reporting that personal terms have been agreed between turgot and emirates club and that the contract would be a one and a half year contract kind of a little bit surprising though that the contract will be that short for a 27 year old 27 year old who did what he did in the Swedish first division, right? I'm sure common sense tells me that he would be quite a decent player 
in the United Arab Emirates. The 27-year-old joined Ostersons in the summer of 2019 and has scored a total of 18 goals for the club. Is 18 goals? 18 goals for the club, yeah. His contract with OFK extends to the summer of 2022, which means that Osterson needs to sell Turga this winter if you are able to get any transfer fee. Right? So there you go. That's about it. Um, that's the story right there. Not entirely surprising that Blair Turgot, you know, is on the verge of making a move out of, you know, the Swedish second division. I reported on it earlier. You know, I did a story on, on it about two or so weeks ago. Right? The player is better than the Swedish second division. I think that is clear for all to see for those who have seen the player play in the Swedish first division right um so not surprising that he hasn't that he does not intend to stay with the club in the swedish second division a bit surprising as to the destination though i saw another article on it describing it as a lucrative move so i, I don't know if it's because of monetary reasons why blair turga decided to go this particular route you know, I was thinking that probably he would have been picked up by uh, another Swedish first division club. But, you know, he's going, well, from what these reports are indicating is that the player is on the verge of going to the UAE. I mean, you know, we have seen deals that are very close to the line that have not gone over the line. We have seen that before, right? I remember... I remember what's his name again? Former Manchester United top man, man. Um, oh God, man, Berbatov. I remember Berbatov was this close to signing for Fiorentina years ago. The fans and the club president were waiting at the airport, right, on the final day of the transfer window. That is how that the deal was basically just all that was left was to put pen to paper on that respective deal. Why the fans and the president at the airport to this day await all no Dimitar Berbatov not turn up for um didn't turn up for Fiorentina. If memory serves right, he went to Fulham, right? But you know this credible platform is sticking their necks out on the line and saying Blair, the, you know the deal between Blair Turgot and Emirates is you know basically going to you know looking as if it's going to get over the line. So again, not surprising that he's moving away from the Swedish second division. The destination that he's going to a little bit surprising. You know, a lot of people want to, you know, play in Europe, right? Europe is the heart of football. That's where the prestige is at. You know, I've heard, I've seen other reports describing it as a lucrative deal. So probably that's a motivation for the move to the UAE. You know, as was reported in this particular story, his contract is up in under six months, and that means Ostersons would have, would have had to have let him go for free, right? The thing about that is that from some reports I've been seeing is that Ostersons is in a bit of turmoil, and that includes financial turmoil as well. So obviously the club would not be too inclined to let go a 27-year-old striker in his prime for little and nothing. Right. So given, you know, the financial state of the, you know, the alleged financial state of Ostersons, common sense would tell you that they would want to sell the player and get something for him. So, guys, you know, that's the big story. Blair Turgot, right, sports, sports expressing is reporting Blair Turgot is on his way out of Ostersons going to the UAE for Emirates FC. The journalist seems to be credible. So the platform is credible. The journal is credible as well. Anil, Ad, Advi, Anil Avdich, right? And as I said, he's followed by Fabrizio Romano on Twitter, right? I think that uh, you, you don't need any more transfer credibility than Fabrizio Romano. Sports Expressing. Credible platform seems to be a credible platform coming out of Scandinavia. I never heard of them before now, but the research that I did, they met 
my required standard. So, guys, that's my two cents. We wish Blair Turgot all the best on, you know, if this if this move indeed goes through. We wish him all the best. If it doesn't, we still wish him all the best. Top player doesn't deserve to be playing in the Swedish second division. Good player. He was unfortunately playing for a very poor club last season. So, guys, that's my two cents. By the way, hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think about this respective move. So, guys, I'm out. Take care. Stay safe. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel again, guys. Free and easy way to.